Today I will introduce the pasteurization sternals for you. This is a 10 meters length pasteurization sternal here. It is used for warming the carbonated soft drinks. Beer is inductive. It also can curing for the hot feeding juice. Let's go, let me show you around. The finished bottle is juice is fitting into the warming tunnel. And then the warming spray water from the down water tanks up to the spraying nozzles. Then the springs hot waters on the bottles to keep the bottles temperature warmer and warmer. This terminal divides the seven. This terminal is divided the seven temperature room. The first one, second one, the third one, and the fourth one. First one is the low temperature, and the middle temperature. It is a high temperature. The first one is a constant temperature for the sterilization room. For example, if you need to do the sterilization at the 65 or maybe the 70 centi degree, maybe for 10 minutes or the 12 minutes. So this is the fourth section. It is for the sterilization for the 10 or 15 minutes. And the temperature keep the same at the 60 or 65 or even 70 centi degree. And then we use the famous Chinese, we use the China famous brown palm ZMP here. And in the different area, if in the winter, some the northern part, the raw water at the beginning production, the water will be lower, the temperature is lower, or uh, maybe some the well or uh, on the water, the temperature is lower. We need to use a small plate exchanger to make the first section temperature warmer and warmer. And this second big one, plate exchanger, it is for the higher temperature. It's kind of keeping the room, keeping the sterilization room temperature and make sure the third one for the constantly sterilizing temperature at the same and no any, no any changeable. And if the temperature is higher or the temperature is lower, we can according to this membrane width and the PLC automatic control. If the temperature is higher, we will reduce the steam in that. Then to make the temperature is lower, we can add more. We can open the wave to add, add more steams to make the temperature higher. And the temperature, here is a detector on the each pipe of the sprayer. This temperature, we give the signature, we give a signal to the PLC. Then we will know the temperature higher or lower. This is the temperature from the lower, middle, higher, constantly. Then we to the middle temperature, then cooling down to the room temperature. After spring, the last one section, it is the blower. We use the blower to dry the old shape of the bottles. We can clean up the moisture, we can clean up the water on the bottles. Then it can be easy for the output for the labeling and then packing at the end. And for the water feeding to the water tank, we control this by the automatic feeding wave. In the upside, they also have the level detector. Is higher or level? It can control. When the level is higher, it will be stopped. When the level is lower, it will be open. We can be filling the water automatic by the PLC. And here we also have the drain pipe at the bottles, 
Some of the dirties is cleaning for you to cleaning. And this pipe and this pipe is for to keep the balance, to keep the water level balance. And we can also keep the temperature exchange to make sure some of the tanks level and temperature. This is a whole set for the automatic pasteurization. So we can use this as a controlling cabinet. This is a timer, one, two, three. Totally, they have the seven temperature. You will see which one is lower. You can control here. And the spreading, you can also control here, open. How close? And let me show you around. Inside, what is the brand for the electronics? For the PLC, we take the mid shoe And the frequency and something, we take the Snyder. If you need any other brand, just like Siemens or any others, you can tell me. We can to make the electronics customized. customized. So this is, this is, that's all for the pasteurizing channel. And how can you to choose, a, how, how do you to choose a suitable pasteurizing for you? And firstly, we need to know the capacity, production capacity, how many bottles per an hour. And secondly, we need to know your bottle size, the diameter. And the last one question, we need, we need to know your technical parameters especially for the timer, the time and the sterilization temperature and the sterilization the time and temperature. And then we will design a suitable pasteurization channel for you according to your technical requirements. And if you have any questions, and welcome to inquiry from us and follow us. So thanks for your watching. That's all, goodbye.